Earlier, we spoke to Vivian F. Mbassi, Women Wise Project Coordinator, Action Aid. Okay, first and foremost, it was exciting to hear the news that this that the case was still alive and that a judgment had been carried out. You know, it came across as so judgment delayed is no longer judgment denied. It took a while, but we we we've eventually gotten somewhere. Now, not everybody is comfortable with the sentence, sentence in itself, being that it's going to run consecutively and thereby giving him less time, you know, in prison. However, it's a start, and we are excited that a precedent has been set. It's a message out there to pedophiles. There are a lot of cases that are ongoing that have dragged for years. And people have lost hope. So I guess this has sort of reignited hope. There are a lot of cases of um, child defilement, rape, molestation of both girls and boys. And this case has brought it to the fore that we can actually get verdict. Perpetrators can actually be brought to book. Uh, some would but say, some, some would react and, and say, this, this is the just... Perspective of... Hello? Yeah, I was trying to interject to say, some would, um, okay. um, uh, on the pessimistic side, say, this is just one. It's like um, a, a spoon from a, a huge pool of um, incest that, you know, currently, not yeah, incest, that's, yeah, um, that's rape and it. abuse of minor. So it's not so much of a celebration because there are still so many victims out there who have been denied justice. Okay, so I was headed there. It's a drop in the ocean, okay, because a lot of cases yet to be addressed. All I'm saying is it gives those of us in the field, those of us frontliners who get to receive um, the cases up front. So because in action aid, we've worked on a child protection project in six states, and every day you get cases and reports of child molestation, child defilement, and there's as far as the case goes. So the case of SA in 2015 was a big deal. You know, um, there, was a, uh, there was outcry um, on social media. There was a lot of pressure put on the EMEA back then, you know, in Kano. But we thought everything had died down. Okay, do you, do you it believe... Good, it's good to know... That there was actually something going on, even without the knowledge of a lot of people. All right. Um, do you believe that for those who are seeking justice, um, aside yourself and your team and those who have worked on this case, do you see it as something that will allow them to be hopeful that their own turn with the justice system will be this fruitful? I think it gives some slight silver of hope. It does give some slight sliver of, um, of hope to people. So um, it's just that don't give up. Be, per be persistent and push. But then again, how many people have the support that SS case garnered? You know, where, how many people cases are on social media? How many people know where to go to to report cases? And their issues will be taken up as far as possible without issues of um, finances, causing people to drop cases, or um, the police or security personnel uh, botching cases and things like that. I listened to the last person talk about witnesses that were not available. So issues like this could hamper judgment.